Hi, I'm Will. I'm Norm. Norm, what do we have today? We have an iPhone lens. It's an accessory for your iPhone 4 Wait, or that, 4S. that doesn't look at all like, like an iPhone No, it doesn't lens. at all. So we bought an iPhone lens for the CES trip. Yeah, right. it, and it, it's a good macro lens. It's attached to the magnets. I can actually, I sell the magnet on my case. Yeah, and it was really cheap. It was like sixteen to twenty dollars. You can find it. I bought it from Amazon. It was Prime eligible and came. Yeah, that was good, but that's only one lens. I mean, it did come with multiple. You can swap it out. Well, it was a hassle because you actually had to have covers on either end, and there was mm -hmm. there was lots of stuff to go wrong. Yeah, little sack full. This of is the All Eclipse. It's a three lens in one system. Three lenses. I see two lenses, but right. I see the third. Well, I, I will show you. Um, and this was actually a Kickstarter project launched last year. This has been out for a little while, but I finally got it in. It's a little pricey, but we'll get that in a bit. Um, but it is three lenses How, in how one. does it work? Show so me. So it attaches your iPhone, and I have a case on, and here's the number one caveat. You cannot use it with the case. I don't use a case. I, I stay naked. So toss away the case. That's for the careless. And you just snap it on on top of So it just slides on? And here's the second bad thing about it is that it blocks the power button. So when it's on, you can't access your power button to sleep mode. Well, but this looks like something you're not gonna take on and off. Like yeah. you're not gonna keep it on when you're using the Exactly. Camera. I would I would not keep this on and then put it in your pocket. It's too big, even though there are lens caps. It's gonna cause an unsightly bulge. But you can also slide it off, and I found it really e relatively easy just to rotate it and then hit my power button. So turning on the camera, I have the uh, fisheye in the back, which is the biggest lens. I'm gonna take off the, the cover, and you have a really big lens, and look at that, it's a, it's a cool fisheye lens. It's uh, very close to 180 degrees. And so even on my side, for example, like if you put, yeah, Will's hands further out, like there, you can't see Will's hands, so it's not full 180 degrees, but further back, you can see both of Will's hands in there, and you actually get his feet, like you get my hand I have down two here. hands and two feet. I'm a big boy. Uh, when this was originally released, uh, the iPhone 4S wasn't out yet. It was still the iPhone 4, five megapixel camera. I found that with the eight megapixel camera on the iPhone 4S, the high resolution images work really well with the warping the, the, of, of the okay. lens. So that's fisheye, and I think it's really cool for people who like Instagramming. It works yeah. really well because it's kind of a square. Make 90s skate videos, you can do that too. So I'm gonna pop this off and flip it around now, and now you have a wide angle lens. And the wide angle lens is about twice the field of view as the regular uh, iPhone camera lens okay. by itself. There is a little bit of warping. So when you take video or photos with this, your horizon does get warped. It's not a straight line. Well, so you get more, more width at the expense of height, right? Well, it, the image that you, come, that you uh, snap with this is still gonna be the same, exact same dimension as what you take without this. Well, it's just the information contained with it. The information is a little squished. Okay. So near, you get more, you can see more does from make, the size. Does it make me look skinnier or fatter? It makes you look skinnier. Yes. Yeah, but you get both horizontal and vertical, uh, horizontal. They should just build this and into the phone. They should. And vertical warping. So for example, if you look at um, my concert poster or my uh, Star Wars posters um, in the back. Boba Fett looks so skinny. You see uh, some warping on the side there. And also the table, which is supposed to be straight, actually curves a little bit. That's the wide angle. I actually like the wide angle. If you combine this with an app that shoots good video, um, the video actually looks pretty good. And I actually like it for Instagram as well because uh, you don't care about the sides when you use Instagram. Yeah, you use crop off, crop off anyway. square. So the third lens is actually a macro lens. And what you do is you just twist off the wide angle lens. So there's two lenses in there? That's crazy. Twist that off. And now you have the zoom uh, or this uh, microscopic lens, which is about 10x um, the power That's of the, the iPhone. iPhone. Of course, you gotta do the iPhone. So I gotta get real close, real close. You gotta you can go up to one centimeter. About Don't one. touch my eyeball. You can take images about 12 millimeters from the lens. Uh, it's really cool macro, but that is best if with a tripod. Because you know, if your subject is moving or if your hands are moving, yeah, it's going to be blurry. It's going to be dramatically yeah. exaggerated. Exactly. Um, but so, but you could do like your Clockwork Orange type thing there if you had the weird eye clamps and the whole nine yards. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool. How much is it, Norm? It's very pricey. So it was a Kickstarter project, and people who donated forty-five dollars got this. I think forty-five dollars, fifty dollars. That seems is right. It's a good price. Three times fifteen lenses. Yeah. Uh, fifteen bucks a lens, three lenses. Yeah, that Plus would be the a cool good price. Is pretty handy. And the the manufacturers of this originally promised that the retail price would be sixty dollars. That's 
actually seems fair still. that seems okay. It's actually seventy dollars in the Apple Store and on Amazon and on their website. Oh, but they're selling it at the Apple Store, so you can get it, like it's legit. You can get it where you don't yes. have to do some weird little yeah. shop or whatever. It is definitely a legit product. You get the lens, you get two lens caps, and you get a little microfiber bag to wipe the lenses off with. I think seventy dollars is definitely on the high end. And who knows? You know, when whenever Apple releases their next phone, uh, that's going to be value factor changes. This. Yeah. Probably won't fit on the new phone. Yeah, I would have bought that. I would have unhesitatingly recommended that a year ago, but yeah, 70 bucks seems like a Of lot. course, like I said before, doesn't work with cases and also obstructs your sleep button. Um, I think it's still a better solution than the, than the stick-on magnetic, magnetic things, because those things th were constantly falling off and were kind right. of a hassle. So that's the All Clip. It's a fisheye, a wide angle, and a macro lens on one kit. That's pretty cool. Uh, for test time, well, I'm Norm. See you guys later. Bye.